Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope you guys are doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming, and he's coming soon. He's at the door, and we're going to be watching on this channel. We're not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Again, absolutely unprecedented times that we're living in right now. Never before in my lifetime and many others' lifetime, including my parents, my grandparents, have we seen something like this, this coronavirus pandemic that's affecting the entire world. Again, we've always had earthquakes, we've always had plagues and famines and world wars, things like that, but in affecting certain continents and different countries, but never before in a very long time have we seen something like this affecting the entire world. And make no mistake about it, the globalists, the elite, the coming new world order, they're not going to let a good crisis go to waste. There is an agenda here. When you look deep down into it, there is absolutely an agenda that's pushing us closer to a cashless society, a coming global government, you know, the coming new world order system, a one world religion. It's all staring us right in the face, folks. You can't make this stuff up. And it's, it's hard to cover everything because there's so much unfolding so fast. But if you've been following my channel, one thing I have said over the last few years, and, and you'll know what I'm talking about, is when it comes to the, the coming tribulation period, which we're not in yet, watch the Pope, Pope Francis, and the United Nations. They're going to play a great role in this coming new world order system. Now, I believe, and I'm in good company when I say this, that Pope Francis is very likely the false prophet spoken of in the book of Revelation, who's basically going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. I believe a pope will be the false prof prophet spoken of in the book of Revelation, but I believe Pope Francis, in my opinion, fits the bill. I've been saying watch for Pope Francis and the United Nations uh, to play a great role in the end times scenario, and we're seeing that now especially with the coronavirus pandemic that's unfolding before our very eyes right now. I call it Agenda COVID-19. Because there's something much bigger going on here, guys, when you look, look between the lines. And the Pope and the United Nations are now playing a great role. And there's many world leaders now that are calling for a global government to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. Let's all come together, one world. Let's all join the hands together and let's fight this thing. So you're seeing, again, a lot of world leaders coming forward now and calling for a global government. You can't make this stuff up. But I gotta share with you, many of you have sent this to me and I was reading through, there are several sources, but I wanna share with you what many of you uh, just sent me. First, I was notified from the Jerusalem Post in an article titled, Pope backs United Nations Chiefs call for global ceasefire to focus on coronavirus. So a global ceasefire. And I'm going to read to you some of what I got from uh, my friends over at Now the End Begins. An article titled, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres and Pope Francis issue call to end all global conflict so the world can unite against covid 19. And look at that part right there. It's time to put armed conflict on lockdown and focus together on the true fight of our lives, United Nations Secretary General Anton Antonio Guterres said. The virus does not care about nationality or ethnicity, faction or faith. It attacks all relentlessly. Relentlessly. Speaking at his weekly blessing in Rome, delivered from the papal library instead of St. Peter's Square because of the lockdown in Italy, Francis specifically mentioned the appeal Guterres made earlier in the week. And again, I've said 
watch Pope Francis and watch the United Nations. I believe, my personal opinion, you don't have to agree with me, that the Antichrist is going to come out of Europe. But here you have Pope Francis, who I believe is very likely a very good candidate for the false prophet spoken of in the book of Revelation, and the United Nations General Secretary basically calling for everybody to unite. One world. One world religion. One world government. Let's fight this thing together. Okay, everyone, it's official. This is from my friends over at Now the End Begins. Okay, everyone, it's official. We are absolutely living in an end times novel with new and wacky end times things happening nearly every day now. Today's offering is Pope Francis backing a call from the United Nations Secretary General for all nations of the world to lay down their arms, end all conflict, and unite under the twin banner of the United Nations and Rome. Do you still think that the coronavirus pandemic is really about a virus? It's not. Like I said, there is agenda written all over this thing. Don't get me wrong, the COVID-19 coronavirus is real and real people are really dying. And from the beginning, I have urged people to take all necessary precautions to protect, your, protect you and your loved ones from getting the infection. Trump's own expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, which I just heard him uh, state this the other day, said he expects 100,000 to 200,000 Americans to die from the coronavirus. It's no joke, but that said, it is also a Trojan horse that is being used to usher in the new world order. Anytime you see the United Nations talking about anything being suspicious, anytime you see the United Nations collaborating with the Roman Pope, open your Bible and start reading. The United Nations is foretold in Scripture, just as the Roman Church, who will lead the one world religion, is also foretold within the pages of prophecy. Keep one eye on the United Nations and the other on Rome. Mischief is afoot. And uh, another article saying, Speaking at his weekly blessing in Rome, delivered from the Papal Library instead of St. Peter's Square because of his lockdown in Italy, Francis specifically mentioned the appeal Guterres made earlier in the week. In a, in a tweet from uh, Antonio Guterres, he said, Today I am calling for an immediate global ceasefire in all corners of the world. It's time to put armed conflict on lockdown and focus together on the true fight of our lives, the COVID-19 pandemic. You can't make this stuff up, guys. The stage is clearly being set right now for the rise of the New World Order system, a one-world religion, a one-world currency, and it's the stage is getting set for the Antichrist. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line to all this. There's an agenda written to this whole thing. Yes, the coronavirus is real, but the agenda is even bigger. The agenda is even bigger. This is all in our face. Again, you got world leaders calling for a global government. You got the Pope now and the United Nations together calling for a global ceasefire. Sounds a lot like peace and safety, peace and security. They shall seek peace and safety, peace and security. Um, for all of us to join together. Guys, we're, we're heading full speed toward the seven-year tribulation period. The tribulation period is casting its shadow on the earth right here, right now. The one world religion, the new world order. They're casting their shadow on the earth right now. The stage is being set for the rise of the Antichrist and the new world order system right now. The rapture is going to happen, and then all hell is going to break loose. But the stage is being set right now. I believe right now, this is like a final wake-up call. Guys, nations are on lockdown from this thing. Uh, and, you know, people are in their homes, stay-at-home orders. Why am I telling you this? Because we have an opportunity right now. Those of us, the children of the light that know the truth and the truth that set us free, and we see the day approaching, we see what's unfolding. We have a, a witnessing opportunity right now.
final moments, guys. This could be that final boarding call on the Ark. It could be. If we see the stage being set for the Antichrist, the false prophet, the New World Order system to come onto the world stage once we're out of here, we know we have to harpazo, which is seized by force, carry off by force, claim for oneself eagerly. Jesus is going to snatch those that are truly his off this planet before all hell breaks loose, before the time of Jacob's trouble begins, before the seven-year tribulation period begins. But if we see them, the agenda being put forth right now, for once we're out of here, guys, that trumpet could sound at any time. And we need to use whatever time we have left. As nations are in lockdown, as we're in, in our homes and we're with our close loved ones, and they're saying, what in the world's going on? This is craziness. We need to be there to tell them the truth. Tell them that this is all in the Bible, that Jesus foretold these times. Tell them that Jesus is coming soon. He's at the door. And today is the day of their salvation. It's time for them right here, right now, to repent, to believe the gospel, and to be converted to new life in Jesus Christ today. Tell them that today... It's time for them to put their full faith and trust in Jesus' blood. To believe with all of their heart that he is who he says he is, the son of a living God, him and him alone. Tell them that Jesus Christ is the only one that can save them, and he is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And today they need to put their full faith and trust in his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Now is prime time for us, guys, to get those final people on that ark before the trumpet sounds. I had to share this with you today. Again, seeing the Pope now getting more involved and the United Nations, it doesn't surprise me. This is what I've been expecting, and it just shows us how close our redemption is, guys. Keep watching with me. Keep looking up. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he's coming, and he's coming any moment. God bless you.